What is going on YouTube? What is going on Basehead family? Thank y'all for tuning in. Guys, it is just about a week away to the sundown show and I am so, so excited. Also, Ox is really excited too. He's chasing a moth around or something. What's down there, buddy? What's down there? Anyway, really been playing these guys a lot to really get them broke in and guys, they are definitely breaking in. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a little bit of game matching with these things. Now, this is not gonna be a full like phase match and everything. If I'm not happy with this, we will definitely be doing that here soon. Maybe before the show, maybe after the show. If I can get this to where I'm happy with it for the show, we'll just leave it like that because why not? But I gave a couple buddies some demos in this thing and spoiler alert, it does do hair tricks. So I'm going to show you all that right here, guys, and then we'll get into the video. Ox, you want to hear some bass today, bud? You want to hear some bass? Might have to show the little fella... A little bit of bass. What's the most you've ever heard? 3,000 watts. 3,000 watts. 3,000 right. watts. <laughs> so let's see what this does. <laughs> Okay, first thing we got to do is gain match these amps with a multi meter so that's pretty easy basically we set this guy to uh, ac voltage and then we play a 40 hertz test tune through this and we just test those leads and then test those leads and then tweak it until we get both the exact same now i think this guy is turned up a little bit more because i will see it uh, clip just a teeny bit before I see this guy clip. So if it does turn out to be more, we will just turn it down a little bit until they both are reading the exact same voltage. So we have a 40 hertz test tune playing. We'll just turn it up a little bit. We got them all going just a little bit. That's 4.2. can see that is six okay that's now saying 4.1 and that's saying 4.2 okay we now got this side at 4.2 as well Now that is the quick and easy way to gain match two amps. That being said, guys, it is not at all perfect, but I think for demo purposes, it'll be just fine. Now, if you're going for SPL, 
you're going to want it to be perfectly game matched and perfectly phase matched as well. So maybe I'll show you all how to do that here in a video here soon. But I think for now, for demos and whatnot, I think this will be just fine. So next thing I got to do, we got to do some DB test. Now, I really want to make this really, really clear, guys. This is a demo build. This is not an SPL build. We are not going to get uh, crazy numbers whatsoever. That being said, with the last build, I think I was able to get a 151 point like three or something like that. Don't remember exactly. I'll put a clip of that up here. But so long as I can get uh, louder than that, honestly, guys, I'll be pretty happy. We'll see. What are you doing? Hmm? Hmm? All right, time for the DB test. Now, sorry, I did not get a video out to y'all midweek like normal every so often i go and tear down some random like barns and little old buildings to get reclaimed wood and a couple came up this past week so every evening after work i've been going over there and working on that but guys we're gonna get this db test underway one week from the sundown show First thing we're going to do, we're going to play a uh, sweep test tone just so we can see where this box peaks at. It's got a little 127, but let's see where she peaked. It is saying uh, 41 hertz. So that's really interesting. When I first uh, did this, the day I got the subs in, it peaked at 39 hertz. So I guess now that the subs have broken in, the kind of peak point has changed a little bit. Interesting. Gonna try it one more time just to see if we get the same result. It turned up a little bit there, got a 130.8. Ah, and there it says 38 hertz. Interesting, let's uh, give it another try at the same volume. That time it got a 131. And it says 45 hertz. That is super weird, guys. And there again, it's saying 45 hertz. So really weird that we're getting different readings. Normally this meter is like super consistent. So I'm going to play an actual 45 hertz uh, test tone just to see if the meter reads that. Okay, let's see. 45 hertz. And they got me a 137. Yep, 45 hertz. It seems to be reading just fine. Well, kind of weird there, guys, but I guess we're going to try 45 hertz may also try a 40 hertz too just to see what we get at both now i don't have my smd amm1 hooked up so i can't see how much power these guys are putting out but maybe we'll uh, try that out here in a video here soon okay we've got this radio turned up close to my clipping point we've got the knob all the way down we've got this set to no fade so with the knob all the way down we really shouldn't hear much but i'm going to go to 45 hertz and then we're going to turn the knob up and see what we get. Okay, first try, got a 151. Now I had the car off, I just went ahead and turned it on. So the uh, alternator will be, of course, spinning out, which will mean we'll have a much, much better voltage. Okay, we're going to try that again. Let's see what happens. Look at that, a 153.4, guys. Already way, way louder than what we had in last year's system. That is awesome. And that was at uh, 45 hertz. We're also going to try 40 hertz just to see what that does. Let's see what we get, guys. All right, so at 40 hertz, got a 151.9. That is also louder than what we got last year so guys not bad at all i had the door open when i was doing those that normally seems to be the best but went ahead and closed it gonna roll up the window 
I doubt this will help, but hey, it's worth a shot for sure. We're gonna go back to 45 hertz. Let's see what we get. Just a 152.3. Now we're gonna try with the door closed, but the window open just to see what we get. Look at that, y'all. Best score yet, 153.6. Okay, next up, gonna try moving the seat all the way forward, having it leaned all the way forward. See if that helps at all. Got the seat as forward and as lean forward as it'll go. Let's give it a try. And there we go. That helped, guys. Got a 153.8. Y'all, not bad at all. Now, I know some of y'all are probably um, expecting a much, much higher number, but I am so excited. This is well over 2 dB louder than what I had last year. And that being said, guys, y'all got to understand how much pressure you got to be able to push to uh, pressurize this entire cabin. This is a really, really big car. So overall, I'm really happy with this, guys. Gonna let this up play at like 20 hertz for a sec, just to let him kind of cool off. Look at those things, move. Let's give it one more shot. And again, guys, we've got a 153.8. Well, y'all, that was fun. Not a crazy number, but hey, for first time really trying DB test, not terrible guys if you have any suggestions of ways that we can try to break that 154 definitely let me know in the comments below I'm pretty happy with that. Not bad for the first time really DB testing these things. Now that they are a little bit broken in, I'm sure there are things we could do to get that score up some, but honestly, I don't really care, guys. I did not build this for SPL. I built this to give out demos at the Sundown Show, and here in a week, that's just what I'm gonna be doing. Well, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Huge thanks to uh, Dead Game for helping me out with these subs and G2 Dynamic for helping me out with the amps and also shipping me out these subs. Paul and Madrid, thank you guys so, so much. Could not have done this without you and most importantly, could not have done it without my whole base head family. Y'all, that's gonna do it for the video. Thank you so much. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Cannot wait to see y'all at the Sundown Show. And as always, keep basing on.